Hello, my name is Donna Coxon. I'm a solution architect with Full Scope. And today I'm going to show you how you can schedule anything in Dynamics 365. So with the latest release of Dynamics 365, they've launched some really exciting new resource scheduling functionality. So previously you were able to schedule resources to deliver projects and schedule resources for field service, so against the work orders. But now with the latest release, they've launched that resource scheduling in a standalone area and enabled you to associate scheduling to any entity in CRM, including custom entities. Now as a pre-sales consultant, I find that very exciting. I've met so many customers over the years who've wanted the ability to do some scheduling during the sales process or during the customer service process. So for example, I was once working with a company who worked in recruitment and provided senior level execs into organizations, either on a permanent or temporary basis. But before placing an exec into an organization, they'd have to go through a rigorous interviewing process. And this organization needed the ability to see all of the available interviewers, their interviewing skills and their location in order to book the candidates in for the interviews. And it was something they simply couldn't do in Dynamics CRM. What they had to do instead was they had to go through lots and lots of different Outlook calendars, find common slots for interviews, and then contact any third party interviewers whose calendars they didn't have access to, to find out when they were available. And the whole scheduling piece of work took up so much more time than it needed to. So when I saw that this functionality had been released in Dynamics 365, I was really excited. So today we're going to take a scenario and I'll walk you through how to set up scheduling to meet that scenario. So the example I'm going to use is where we have an organisation that provides different types of eye surgery. They have a number of clinics around the country and within those clinics they have a number of advisors and surgeons who work to deliver services. Now as part of their sales process, if someone expressed an interest in having some kind of eye surgery, before they can complete that sale and go ahead and book the patient in for surgery, they have to go through an assessment process. So the prospective customer or patient has to meet with an advisor at one of the clinics and they have to be assessed for their suitability for the surgery. Also they have to sign a number of documents including disclaimers etc. So before that sale can be completed, there has to be a face-to-face -face meeting with a clinic advisor to check that that person can actually have that surgery. So this functionality meets that requirement exactly. What we need to do effectively is be able to create a, create a booking, book our prospects into clinic appointments during the sales process, so against the opportunity entity. So let's walk through how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to the new resource scheduling area. So over here we can see that resource scheduling is now in a standalone area on the site map. And you'll see that within resource scheduling there is an administration area. This is where we need to go to enable resource scheduling for other entities. And within here we can see all of the entities that are now enabled for resource scheduling. So projects and work orders are the entities that were enabled as part of project service automation and field service. But you can see that I've now also added an opportunity. And if you want to add an entity, you simply choose your entity and then publish your customization. Once you've done that, you will then be able to book an appointment against that entity. So just to prove that, if we now navigate back to an opportunity. So here I have an opportunity for someone who's interested in laser surgery, but you can see a new button has appeared because I've enabled scheduling on the opportunity entity and it's the book button, which allows me to now go and book a resource on the schedule board. Now before I do that, there are some other settings that I need to set up in resource scheduling. So let's just go back and choose resource scheduling. And the first thing we need to do is set up our organizational units. 
And here you can see I've created an organisational unit for each of my clinics around the country. So these are the, each of the locations where these advice sessions will happen. The next thing I need to do is start setting up my resources, their skills and their roles. So the first thing I'll do is go and set up some resource roles. So here you see I've created a resource role for a clinic advisor and also for a surgeon. Now I need to go and set up the skills that each of these roles can perform. So back to resource scheduling, resource skills. And here for example you'll see that I've created skills for laser eye advice, laser surgery, lens surgery, lens surgery advice, and also cataract surgery and cataract surgery advice. So what we now need to do is pull together the roles and the skills and we do that by creating our resources. So these are the people within our organisation who will deliver these services for us. So we go to resource scheduling, resources, And if I pick, for example, Evan Flower, you can see that I've added a resource role of surgeon, and I've said that that is his default role. And then I've added a skill, which is cataract surgery. Now I could go ahead and add another skill, so perhaps Evan is also t able to deliver lens surgery. And you can also specify their rating. So are they good, average, proficient as a surgeon? I hope he's fairly proficient. And now we can start to build up the skills that Evan has as a surgeon. The other important thing to do in this screen is to associate this person, this resource, to an organisational unit. So what I need to do now is say that Evan works in a particular clinic. So if we scroll down the screen you'll see right near the bottom in the common tab that Evan is linked to the Reading Clinic. And then the last thing we need to set up are Evan's working hours. So if I click on the drop down chevron next to Evan and go to work hours you can see that I've set up his working hours as 9 till 8. If we double click on that, we can see that Evan works 9 till 8, Monday to Saturday, apart from when the company's closed on business closures. So, for example, Christmas Day. But we can also see that Evan's on vacation for two days on, on the 2nd and 3rd of February. And again, that's set up over here by adding some time off. So that's it. We've set up our organisational units, our clinics. We've set up our resource roles. So we've created clinic advisors and surgeons. We've created some resource skills. So what can our clinic advisors and surgeons actually do? Then we've created our people and given them a role and a skill. We've defined their working hours and now we can start booking appointments against those resources. So let's go back and create a new opportunity. So I'll create a new opportunity for someone who's interested in laser surgery. When I save the opportunity, the book button becomes available. This now shows me my first available appointment with my default resource. So I can see here that um, Donna Coxon is able to offer cataract surgery advice, laser eye advice and lens surgery advice. And the first appointment is on the 2nd of February at 6 o'clock.
Now we can either accept that appointment or we can now use the filters on the left hand side to find other appointments. So if we're just interested in laser surgery advice, we can choose laser eye advice. But if we want that at a particular clinic, so perhaps I want that either at the Reading or Southampton clinics, I can choose those clinics and now I can search using those filters. And now I can see all of the available slots for the next few days at Reading or Southampton for anyone who is able to offer laser eye surgery advice. So I will take an appointment on the 1st of February with Adam Barnett at 9am. So I'll select that slot and book it. And that's it. That slot has now been booked against that opportunity. So if we return to the opportunity, what I have done on my opportunity form is I've just done a little customization where I've added booked appointment subgrid to the opportunity form. And now I can see that we've got an appointment booked with Adam Barnett at nine o'clock on the 1st of February. So let's go and look at our resource schedule board for all of our appointments. So if we navigate to resource scheduling, schedule board, here I can see all of my available resources and all of the appointments that have been booked for them. I can also see their working hours. So their unavailable times are greyed out. So if we move up here to the 3rd of February, for example, we'll be able to see that Evan is on vacation, just as we saw in his working hours earlier. And here we can see the appointment that we've just booked at 9am for the laser surgery advice. And you can use the filters on the left hand side to filter out the resources that you're looking for. So you can add in your characteristics. So these are your resource skills. So if you're just looking for a surgeon um, or a particular type of surgery, then you can select your different categories here. You can select your organizational units. So where do you want the appointment? And you can select other items as well. And the great thing is that under options here, you can actually save your filters as default. So what I've done is I've saved all of my resources, all of my clinics and made that my default filter. So as soon as I open my schedule board, I can see all of the bookings for all of my surgeons and my advisors across all clinics. And that's it, you're good to go. It's really straightforward functionality, it's really easy to set up and it works really well. And that's how you schedule anything in Dynamics 365. So I hope that's been useful to you. I've also written a blog which is available on the Fullscope website. But if you would like to know more information about resource scheduling or any other functionality within Dynamics 365, then please do reach out to your account director. They would be delighted to help you on your CRM journey. Thank you.